Hi there, this is Chris from Money Hub, and this video looks at the top 10 frequently asked questions about the Wise Debit Card. We've published a couple of videos about the Wise Debit Card, and there's been a lot of positive buzz about it, but the questions do come up, and I thought let's create a new video just to go through these really important questions. And we've also listed them on the Wise Debit Card review, which I've also linked down below so you can see them at the end of the guide. And uh, now I'm just going to explain them in detail. First of all, so the most popular question is, how long does it take for the Wise Debit Card to, uh, to arrive? So Wise says around three weeks. We know from experience that uh, we've ordered it or uh, people that we know have ordered it and it's come within about a week. But the answer there really is, if you're planning to go away, please order it as soon as possible if you decide that you want to get the card because there's no point in like leaving it too soon or think, oh, well, I'm not going away for two months, but you know, they say three weeks. I was just to leave it later. It is better just to get it as soon as you can, just in case there's any delays. You do get a digital card, which is helpful, so you can still use it without having the physical card uh, that's, uh, that runs off the app. But at the same time, you really just uh, do need the physical card as well for sort of peace of mind. So uh, yeah, the sooner the better in our experience. And so uh, while we, and so while it says three weeks, uh, you know, it is worth just uh, pushing uh, to get it sent out for you as uh, quickly as possible. The second question is, do I need to convert money before I go overseas? So the answer to that is no. You can just fund it with your New Zealand dollars and then uh, you know when you go overseas you'll have a wallet of New Zealand dollars which will be then uh, transacted uh, you know every time you make a purchase so then that leads to us uh, the second kind of related question to that which is are you best to load the card in your home currency first and then convert it to the multi currencies you need so this really depends and uh, you know many people will just leave it you know in New Zealand dollars and they'll go overseas to many countries and then it'll just be deducted at New Zealand dollars at the rate of today's exchange rate or sorry their exchange rate at the time that then that they make the purchase uh, but some people will take a different view and they'll think actually I'm going to Britain or I'm going to the US for a few weeks I want to lock in a, a certain amount of money to budget with so then yes you could uh, take a view that right I'll uh, put in a thousand US dollars that will cost me, you know, so many New Zealand dollars and then that's fixed in and then, you know, that that will show up in the wallet. People, people ask, what do I do? Which is kind of funny. So I'll just show you some recent transactions. Uh, nothing too interesting here. Uh, so I've funded it all from New Zealand dollars, but I did have some pounds. Uh, so here you can see that I spent some euros that was on September the 26th. That was for a flight. And then I also had some pounds which a little a small amount of pounds left I think about five pounds which uh, the fruit uh, the fruit man on Chancery Lane took some and and then the rest was funded by New Zealand dollars there we go I went to Boots and um, you know 28 pounds went straight through there you know so for me personally I'm just using New Zealand dollars in this uh, trip but that won't apply to everybody and that's certainly not financial advice it's just you know what I've decided to do because I didn't know how long I'd be in the UK for or what I'd spend so that's just a little summary there, but what you do is very, very specific to what you think the exchange rate will be or how you want to budget your uh, trip. Uh, fourth question related to this as well, and uh, this is quite common. So people say, if there is a fee, so sorry, there is a fee if I want to convert a New Zealand dollars to Euro, if I use it overseas, will this fee be bigger or smaller? So what that question really is, is so I want to possibly convert some money into euros or any other currency in advance, but there's going to be a fee charge to that. Is it, so is it better then to, uh, to just leave the money in New Zealand dollars and then spend it overseas? Will that fee be smaller? The answer there is this depends on the value of the transaction. So overall, you know, assuming like for like, there won't be any difference. And the reason I say that is because if you if you decide to convert say 500 euros in advance from New Zealand dollars you'll pay a fee but then if you spend 500 euros overseas and you didn't convert it from New Zealand dollars then you'll also be charged a fee that fee should be pretty much the same if not the same the only difference would be if the New Zealand dollar was obviously worth less uh, so the fee could be higher but it's going to be pretty immaterial the fee anyway 
so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, people ask, can I link the Wise debit card to my bank account? And the answer to that is yes, you can. By linking, really, you just set it up as a payee. So in my bank account for Kiwi Bank, I, uh, you know, I have a Wise saved there. So if I want to deposit some money, then I just say, okay, I'll put in 500 New Zealand dollars, for example, and then that will be sent just like, just like I was paying a bill or something. Uh, and that will show up in my WISE account, usually in a couple of hours, maybe up to five hours during a work day. It doesn't work at the weekend, you do have to wait, so that is something to be conscious of. But that's specific to New Zealand. If you have an overseas bank account, uh, then uh, things probably are a bit quicker, uh, depending where you're from. Um, so you don't, yeah, so you don't have to, uh, you don't have to do any conversions in advance either. Um, you can just, you know, fund it. And then as I said previously, just go for it. Uh, next question here is, for example, uh, my plan is to convert euros in January and spend those euros in March. And then this person's asking, will the January exchange rate be applied? The answer to that is yes, for the amount that you convert. So if I'd so if I decide, right, I'm going over to Europe in January, I'm going to load up 500 euros, and then I get there in, uh, you know, later in January, that 500 euros is locked in. So that's the rate which I, you know, have, have basically purchased the euros. So that's what I'll be able to spend with. Now, if you run out of euros, uh, then, you know, you'll need to top up your euros. So you'll need to uh, use some New Zealand dollars for those. And then, of course, the exchange rate will be the one that's on the day. So nothing to do with the previous exchange rate that euros, those euros have been bought and spent. It's already, uh, the exchange rate changes every kind of second of the day. So uh, yeah, that's the new rate that you'll pay. And uh, no one can predict what that is. So if you are cautious of, you know, what the rates will be and you're comfortable with the current rate, then you can make a decision to lock in or, and so that means funding some euros or you can do some funding and then some just with your New Zealand dollars. Either way, the costs shouldn't be too different. Uh, you know, in terms of wise fees, it'll just be the exchange rate uh, which changes. Uh, so people ask, you know, I need three pieces of information, a, a bank name, SWIFT, and, and the account number. Will I get this information as part of my wise debit card? The answer to that is yes, you will. Many people now use wise to move overseas as just like set up as a bank account for their employer. So yes, you will get all that information because WISE functions like a normal bank account. So not not only will you have a New Zealand bank account set up with WISE, you'll have a bank account for any of the 20 plus currencies that they uh, work with. So yeah, that's really the answer there. And then sort of not related to uh, sort of anything in particular, but do I need to put euros in my wallet to spend euros? That question applies to any currency. So do I need to have, say, US dollars in my wallet to spend US dollars? And the answer to that, of course, is no, because, you know, as long as you have some money which will cover the transaction, uh, then, you know, and settle the purchase, then that's fine. You'll just pay the uh, transaction fee or the, you know, exchange fee, which wise charges. It's not very much. Uh, so, uh, so, for example, if you have 10 euros in your wallet, and you decide to spend, you know, five US dollars, then, you know, that will be covered because the euro is worth more, or sorry, 10 euros is worth more than five US dollars. And so there'll be no issue there settling that. When things don't work is when you only have, say, 10 euros and you want to make a 15 US dollar purchase, then it'll be declined because you don't have the money. If you have money in other currencies, then it will pick up that as well. So you can see in this example, I didn't have enough uh, pounds. If I just click on my Chancery Land Fruits, and so you can see here that, so my uh, British pounds balance was six pounds 25. So it settled the rest with New Zealand dollars. And for that, I was charged two cents. And then we can see the exchange rate there. So $4.32 was used to convert to two pounds tw uh, 25. And then that settled my purchase of eight pounds 50 uh, from the Chancery Land Fruit Shop. So, so that's the answer there. And then second to this and kind of related, so if I use my Wise debit card in the UK and I have pounds in my wallet, 
does it automatically choose the pounds as the default currency? And the answer to that is yes. So if you have pounds, you're spending pounds, and then you won't be charged in, say, New Zealand dollars first. You'll be charged in pounds, just as I've shown you with this uh, fruit example. And then, yeah, so that's, so, yeah, that's the answer there. And if you are short, then it'll take other currencies that you have. And then finally, people ask, well, is WISE the best a travel money card? We love the exchange rates. You know, we love the convenience of it all, the online nature of it all. And we've done some extensive research, which you, which we've linked below on travel money cards. Uh, but of course, it's not going to be the best for everybody. So it, like, it really does depend. So just read our research, see the videos about the exchange rates, and make an make an informed decision from there. Thanks very much. For, thanks very much for watching. If you have any other questions, do list them below because because we do find this really helpful in terms of just getting you know, more and more information about this card with the New Zealand dollar, not that strong. I mean, of course, it sort of has its ups and its, it has its ups and downs. We want to sort of maximize the value that people are getting for the, for the New Zealand dollar when they go overseas. So these video series are kind of designed to do that and just sort of make it all much more transparent and much more convenient to sort of make a decision. Uh, thanks so much. And I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below.